Hello everyone, today we are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons once again and this is going to be a tarantula trap slash tip video for catching tarantulas so um, of course you'll need your Nook Miles ticket and then all of your tools and so I bring one of everything and then an extra axe and an extra shovel because you're going to be having to clear an entire island basically so the extra tools will help because you can buy extra ones from the dodo guy but they won't be the upgraded tools so they'll break faster and if you'd like you can bring an extra net as well for the same purpose because you'll be catching a lot of bugs but I find that I don't particularly care to spend the extra on the um, the net because, at least for me, it seems like it lasts a little longer, but it's completely up to you. So you will take your Nook Miles ticket and you'll fly to an island, and the island you see right now is your second best island to land on. I'm not trying to make it like too specific just because there are so many different islands. But just to get it out there, I did land on Tarantula Island, and of course, if you land there, then that is the very best place you can get, because as it's named, there are tarantulas on that island for you, so it will make this process so, so much easier. Uh, well, to clarify as far as how quickly you will catch the bugs. Um, on that island, it's a circular waterway, and in the middle, there's a bunch of tarantulas already there. So you can still make the trap that I'm going to show you later in the video, and it will still work on that island. It's just that on Tarantula Island specifically, you'll have four or five already spawned at a time. So you'll get your inventory filled in like 10-ish or so minutes, if that. And of course you won't have to do all this prep work. When I was there I did cut down the trees just so when I was making my trap I wouldn't get any surprises, but besides that, of course they're already spawned. So back to the content of the video itself, you want to aim for an island that looks like this because the flatter the better. So I did land on two other islands before this, and unfortunately you can put in all the work to make them spawn, but if they are cliffs or a lot of waterways, then that's gonna mess with the spawn of tarantulas. For example, I have footage of before this, I probably won't include it, but it was a island that had two cliffs, like you could climb up two um, sets of cliffs, and then it had waterways all along it. So there wasn't a lot of room because you need flat land and then the waterways cause um, the giant water bugs to spawn a lot and those become problematic because a they will spawn much more frequently and b you can catch them to get them out of the way but sometimes they're very difficult to spot so that's not to say you can't catch tarantulas you can do all the work and still get them there i did get one or two to spawn it's just not going to be worth it so this kind of island that's flat with just a lot of bamboo will be your best bet as far as setting up this kind of trap and getting a decent amount of tarantulas done, or caught, rather. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it is definitely a lot of prep work, so what you have to do is you need to pick all the flowers and you can leave their stems. You'll have to pick up the weeds cut all the trees and or bamboo down and then you'll have to dig up their stumps if they're normal trees and or bamboo the bottom stalks there and then you will also need to break the rocks completely so uh, another thing I did bring just because like I've been saying you don't know what island you're gonna land on you might get normal trees that have fruit on it but I do bring some peaches because you will need to break those rocks completely so, as you can see, you're just kind of clearing everything down, and there's no perfect way to do it. Um, at first I was getting an area completely finished at a time, but it just seemed more productive to me to like cut all the trees and then dig everything up and then pick everything. 
but it's completely up to you how you want to do it. And there's my inventory, as you can see. One of every tool, and I did bring that extra axe and shovel. Because when you get an island like this, you're going to do a whole lot of cutting and digging. And that's just the prep work to get to where you need. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and probably fast forward it here. And we will see you all in a minute. Alright, so we are back, and as you can see, very flat island, cleared out rather, just the stalks of the, um, not the fruit, the flowers, and so you can kind of see up top there maybe, there are tarantulas already running around, of course they are not guaranteed spawn right away, um, there are going to be other bugs spawning occasionally, like wharf roaches and tiger beetles I believe. So you'll just have to run around, basically after you do all this prep work there is still a little more work. You're going to have to run around and scare off any bugs that are not tarantulas. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm setting the trap as I call it. You are just basically making this little corridor you're going to run down and it will trap the tarantula inside. It's basically like a backwards G looking shape and um, there's no like best way to make it as far as I know. I find that if you make the corridors longer then you have a better chance of outrunning the tarantula. And if it does catch you, you really don't lose anything. So the tarantula, you're gonna be 
getting into here is going to be aggressive, of course. So if he does knock you out, you're going to come back and you're still going to have all your inventory. It's not a big loss. And as you can see, I've not cleared my inventory yet. But when you are ready to catch the tarantulas, you will want to just go. I went to the sides of the beach myself and I just dropped everything in there, kind of. Or on two different sides, just because you can't drop everything in the same location, it will tell you you can't. But just get rid of things as you need because you're going to want to keep making room for tarantulas, of course. So this is the end of the corridor I was talking about, and then we're going to finish up this little area. And as I was saying, you can make the trap longer if you would like. And there you have it. So what you want to do is run through straight ahead like I'm showing right here if you turn the corner too fast like that there's a good chance the tarantula will catch you so you want to bring it in dead ahead you will get to the end and hop over and he'll be stuck in that little nook right there and then you'll turn around dig that spot and he'll be trapped in there and what that does it means you have an aggressive tarantula stuck in the trap right in that little area so that means that any other tarantulas that spawn will be more pacified. They won't attack you on sight and they can't even bite you. So as I've been saying, this does help you catch tarantulas because you don't have to worry about being bit and the such, but it still is quite a bit of work. And one thing to clarify, I don't know if it's just my game in particular or in general, but the tarantulas, as you can see, they're passive toward me. If I walk toward them with any other tool out, such as the axe or the shovel, like you see, they kind of ignore me. And even at some times when I have the net out and I'm trying to catch them, they still just disregard me and they'll despawn. And I didn't really think about it at the time, but that's probably just a glitch or a bug because they should definitely be aggressive still. So what I had to do for myself anyway, is I had to have my axe out and then whenever the tarantulas came around then I switched to my net and that made them aggressive. So here you can see it is a little bit of a struggle to get them around the corner and into the bottom nook there, but you just have to kind of lead them and they will follow you and you'll get over and dig the last hole and he is trapped in there. And if you do have that problem, just have a different tool out, and as soon as you see the tarantula, you can switch to the net, and then that will get their attention. So this is basically the last part that you have to do work on. You just run around, like I was saying, scare off all those other bugs that are not tarantulas. You'll have these kinds of beetles, the wharf roaches. You just keep making laps on the island and scaring them off and eventually the tarantulas will spawn and they will not attack you. They may rear up at you, but as you'll see later in the video, they definitely do not attack you or knock you out or anything like that. As long as that one in there is stuck inside, you are golden. Strangely enough, he did escape at one point somehow. I hadn't had that happen before, but like I said earlier, if he knocks you out, you're not losing anything. And if you do get knocked out by chance, um, he will despawn from inside the trap. All you have to do is um, just open the trap back up and re-lure them in. So here's where I was talking about. He just has no regard for me at all, even if I walk in front of him and I have the net out, and he despawns. So I'm not really sure why that happened, but that's just something to keep in mind if that happens to you as well. Just switch to a different tool and then back to the net. But give yourself some space because they will chase you immediately. So this isn't like completely foolproof, but when you have him trapped in there, and assuming he stays in there, it is a very good plan. It keeps you out of danger. It makes it very easy to catch the tarantulas. So hopefully this all, this video, I mean, will be helpful to you all. 
and here at the end I will show all the tarantulas I caught and I believe when you catch 30 you net 192,000 bells you can probably just look up how much they sell for and then also keep in mind if you have um, flick dropped by your island or whoever it is that buys insects you get a little bit of a bonus I think it's around 2,000 extra bells per tarantula so you can do that if you want to stash them on your island like some crazy tarantula keeper you can do that but I just sold mine overnight to the nook shop nook's cranny and I got a decent bit of change when I woke up this morning from two tarantula hauls I had around 440,000 bells so obviously it does take some work it roughly took me 30 to 45 minutes I would say to get a full inventory of tarantulas but it's totally worth it I think you're not having to be chased and you're not really in danger and it just kind of makes it all around easier the prep works definitely the longest part and then from there you just gotta be patient just keep running your laps scaring those bugs away and soon enough you will have a full inventory of tarantulas so thank you all for watching if I didn't clarify anything or you have any questions feel free to comment and I'll try to help how I can. Like I was saying, just try for those flat islands and clear everything down to the flower stalks, scare off the bugs, and you are golden. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.